This week brought bombshells and new developments in the murder case of Crystal Rogers, one of the big ones revealed in court. The Houck family secretly taped court proceedings that were supposed to be confidential. WDRB's Valerie Chin has been digging into that and explains why nobody has been charged and won't be. Val? That answer is simple. Nobody in the Houck family has been charged because it's been too long. The statute of limitations has passed. Brooks Houck shows her how to run the recorder, tells her he wants a tape of it. The question is why? To make sure everyone's story is consistent. It has been stated before, the truth will set you free. The problem in this matter is the truth will imprison Brooks Houck. And we're asking your honor. That's Shane Young, the special prosecutor assigned to the Crystal Rogers murder case, talking about Brooks Houck and his sister. Grand jury proceedings are secret. That's where regular members of the public chosen to be on a grand jury determine whether someone should face criminal charges. They don't decide whether a defendant is guilty. That's what a jury does. We talked to Terry Gohagan, the Nelson County Commonwealth's attorney. He says he subpoenaed the Houck family within two weeks of Crystal Rogers' disappearance back in 2015 and interviewed members of the Houck family. He says that the time there was no reason to believe they had recorded the grand jury proceedings. Gohagan says when the FBI searched Brooke House's mother Rosemary's farm years later, it found the recordings in a jacket in a closet. He says a family took micro recorders into the grand jury room that could be easily hidden in a pocket. Young talked about the recordings on Thursday. The defendant's sister, Rhonda McAvoy Houck, brother Nicholas Houck, mother Rosemary Houck, Brother-in-law, Alex McAvoy, and Rosemary Houck's live-in boyfriend, Larry Mock, all recorded, secretly brought in recorders and recorded the grand jury. I've been practicing here, Your Honor, for 25 years in this state, and I have yet, ever, heard of anyone recording a grand jury. The other way you look at that is, Law enforcement, local law enforcement, comes out and says you're the prime suspect and releases evidence and gets you excoriated on podcasts and medias and signs and yards. Who in their right mind wouldn't want to know what was being said? Gohagan says that the recordings were discovered in 2015. The Hawks who recorded them could have been charged with contempt of court. It's a misdemeanor with a fine of up to $1,000 and a year in jail. But misdemeanors can only be prosecuted within one year of the crime. So Gohagan says too much time has passed to charge anyone now. We continue to follow new developments in this case, so stay tuned to WDRB. Valerie Chin, WDRB News.